This is the CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart. I'm going to try and take you around the Malibu stand here, show you some of the vans. I'll show you all of the vans are here because no one is in the halls yet, unless the music comes up really loud. But even if it does, then I'm going to stop talking and uh, just put some music over the top. This is my protection against copyright music and uh, I don't want to be accused of intellectual property theft. And uh, I can hear something already, never mind, I'll just keep going on. What Malibu is, is a cheaper version of Cartigal. Um, well, that was the idea, anyway. But uh, look at some of these features. This is not a feature found in a cheap van. Ooh. Double floor. So, a bit difficult there for me holding it with uh, one hand. <laughs> I'll give you the details as I'm uh, as I'm leaving. Look, look, very nice motorhome. This is the sort of thing which suit me down to the ground. I like the way this goes up. I like uh, the uh, entrance here into the garage. Got a thing up here to. Oh, I'll just push it back a bit if I can. Show you. Sorry, that shows up into the garage there. But, uh, I think that's a super feature. Go and hide in the garage, you see. When the dog's in the bad tent. Uh, enormous, uh, well not enormous, but a largish uh, um, wardrobe. And kitchen. Uh, this to me suit me down to the ground. I'll give you the details now as I, as I depart from here. So this one here is the uh, T410 DB double bed, uh, 65,100 uh, euros. Now I was just looking at some shorts on vans which are the, roughly the same price and I mean there's just really no comparison. So uh, this one here is uh, 74,500, uh, this is an integrated one, it's the same as the, what we just saw except for the integrated bit there at the uh, front. Uh, so, well, I said same, well, this one's got an extra bed up here, but then again it's integrated so I suppose it would do. And there's the double bed at the back. Okay, now they're claiming 250 kilos of payload. Whether or not that, uh, I wouldn't miss 250, but okay. Uh, 67,500 uh, semi integrated 440 LE. This one here has got at the back uh, what I call the German layout. So you've got these two beds here. Now, admittedly, it's not as expensive as the Cartago brand. It still is, obviously, 67,500. It's a huge amount of cash you've got in your pocket. It's a huge amount of cash you've got in the bank. You know, but maybe, maybe with 96 months to pay, one third deposit. Uh, what, you're looking at around what 500 euros? Just on the top of my head, I might be wrong, but um, 500 euros a month, I might, it might be acceptable. Integrated 441 LE. Uh, 75,000 uh, euros. It is in length uh, 665 uh, centimeters. R uh, roughly similar to the ones I've seen already, so I didn't give the, the lengths. So I get a bit nervous when I start hearing that the music's about to come on, and I think, I'm thinking, uh, what do I do next? Do I uh, continue talking or do I now uh, just stop filming? Another thing I want to have to point out, actually, you can see it here, I'm, I'm carrying this backpack on my back. And uh, uh, the point of me pointing that out, it shows that I can actually manoeuvre myself relatively well with this bulge sticking out the back. Right, see this? This attaches 
not down there, but up there. Ah, oh, that was a, I fooled you on that one. And you've got this huge, huge, huge dressing area. They call it a Vario Schwenkbad, but um, I think it's super. You've got all this spa space in here. You've got under the beds. You've got your uh, wardrobes. But as I can't be bothered to reach down, I'll just push this one up here. See, get your clothes up like that. Oh, this is no. I think this is really, really nice. Uh, up there, it's attached by via a uh, magnet. I'm not showing you the fridge is locked. I think they're delivered locked actually in many cases. And you've got a double floor as well. Nice, huh? I want a semi integrated one though. If anybody from Malibu is uh, listening, uh, the, 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 the semi integrated one would uh, would suit me better. Well, I've got a bit disorientated here. Where was I? Uh, let's go back this way. T430 LE. This thing here is 66,320. Lovely, eh? Six, D, uh, Six six thousand. Yeah, I agree. It's a lot of money, but yes, you know, so all the prices are very very similar. S the size of the van is six hundred and ninety centimeters, so it's even smaller than mine. Integrated four thirty LE, seventy five thousand seven hundred fifty. It is seven meters, six hundred ninety five centimeters. Integrated van, uh, I460, 77,150, it is 725 centimeters in length. You can see the double floor down there. I mean, I'm gonna have to say that these vans really are, <laughs> there's no way they can really go into the sort of the, well, economy class, not only because of the amount of money, but, uh, the standard inside. I think I used to own a Malibu as well. It says T four six O L E. At a cost of sixty seven sixty eight thousand euros. Now, um, I'll just mention something about filming. Normally, I film things, and uh, normally they, but it's mirrorless camera, it's a Sony A6000, and normally it, it overheats. Now, I've been filming today, this has never happened before, for almost constantly for one hour, and it haven't even got the overheating sign has come up, which is also a sign for me just to stop filming as well. I4, integrated 441 LE, 75,000, and, this is 666 centimeters in length. Something's just come on. Oh, it's a television thing behind me. Beside me. Do you want to see this moving around? Uh, this is closing. There you go. Right. Uh, okay. I'm, in view of the music situation, I think I'm going to have to start thinking about. Uh, uh, getting a move, getting a move on.
or oh, stop me talking. T440, Queen Bed, 67,870. It's got, uh, so it's a T, it's a teal integrated, um, semi integrated, um, so you can see it's there. But it, unusually, unlike the other vans, this one's got a bed above me and it's got a queen bed back there. Now, of all those I've seen so far, I do like the queen bed. I don't like the, the clutter and the loss of headroom up front. Indeed, it's such, oh, it's a bit, if you're any taller than me, you wouldn't want this, this thing up there. So any like 100 and, 180 centimeters in height, it certainly is too, uh, that's too much. I440 QB. Queen bed in the back, okay, but as it's uh, oh, sorry. as it's uh, integrated, it's got the bed here up front, which doesn't get in the way of the standing height here, but it will get in the way of your your driving height. Seventy-seven thousand five hundred, a seven-meter-long van. This thing here, 77,150, it's 7 metres in length and has a German layout at the back. You may think, okay, these vans all look very similar. Well, they do, yeah, they do. Now we're going to come to the last one. I think it's the last one. Well, it's not the last one, sorry. I get a bit confused when I start doing these, to start running around, I can't remember. There you got the, th there's the full range. So, uh, an integrated eight, and the semi-integrated, you got seven, okay? Uh, T500 QB costs 71,000 euros and is 743 centimeters in length. So the queen bed, 195 by 145. Integrated is 500 QB. Queen bed, 748 centimeters in length, 80,400. Okay, folks. Very similar to the last one, isn't it? Good, so uh, that's uh, Malibu here at um, Caravan Salon Dusseldorf. I'll possibly be in Allendorf before long, so if you, there's anything uh, you want to see in more detail or I fail to do, such as these two here, uh, I'll do it then. But for the moment, Thanks very much for watching. I didn't do these two. Yeah, I'll just stick my head round now. 490 LE. 70, 70 and a half thousand. It is 745 centimeters in length.
I hope this film isn't too boring because there isn't all that much difference between the pans. There you go, Four, integrated 460 LE. Seventy-seven thousand one hundred and fifty. I'm going to leave it here. Actually, I don't think I've done that one either. Come to think of it, um, but um, anyway, should be the last last video I do here on for today. Gives you the uh, Malibu range here. So I'm just about to go off on a, a, a trip myself. So I'm in Stuttgart at the moment. I shall be travelling through Baden-Württemberg. To the south, and then I shall cross the border near Bregenz, uh, Roelberg in Austria. I'm not terribly certain which way I'm going from there. If I'm going to go, uh, but I'm going to head towards Trentino in Italy, so I'm heading in a, a general easterly direction. So that's my plan. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that of interest and uh, that it wasn't too boring. So, lots more vans from here, from Stuttgart in the time I've been here and uh, lots more vans from other places. Also, I've got my van life adventures traveling through uh, Germany, Austria and Italy to come. I haven't filmed that yet, so I'm presuming I will film it. Uh, but I've got lots of journeys from all sorts of other places as well, particularly, particularly traveling through Germany, Poland, Italy. So, hope you subscribe and if you get any benefit from what I do, <laughs> Uh, please uh, consider uh, subscribing. You can see the vans down there in another video.